The Rock back here with some more uh, tips that I've learned with the uh, Maker Ultimate printer from uh, Mono Price, and it probably will help any of you other guys or girls out there with 3D printers and wishing to use a glass bed. Um, I do like the finish on the bottom a lot better with the glass bed, um, but I'm having problems with it sticking. So, um, uh, first of all, uh, before I even go any farther. First thing you gotta remember is you gotta start off your first layer uh, slow. Uh, that's gonna help out a lot too. But I kinda wanna show you some things that I've tried after research and research and just pulling my hair out. And I found the perfect solution. Uh, at least for me. I mean, it's worked flawlessly so far. Um, this was my first, um, first attempt. Uh, glue stick uh, never really got success um, and I don't know why that is maybe it's because um, the non washable kind I, I've had better luck with but I can't seem to find it anywhere everything's turning into washable and uh, it dries very very quickly and then is no longer sticky um, so um, I, ultimately I didn't have very much luck with this uh, plus you're looking at you know a dollar a stick and you basically got to cake it on there for it to really work. Um, my next try um, was uh, painter's tape. Some standard painter tape. Um, and even with just this on there, it, it did not work very good for me. Um, I still had uh, problems even getting started. So what I had started doing uh, was I would add the painter's tape, which is expensive already, and then the glue on top of it, and it would work 90% of the time, depending on how large the print is. Um, but of course, uh, that gets expensive, because every time you take a model off, you have to put a new piece of tape down to wherever it's stuck to, because it never just pops off of it. Now, maybe it's the other way around if I didn't use a glue stick, but I could never get it to work successfully with the glue stick, without the glue stick. Alright, and then, you know, eventually I got so angry at it and messing up so many prints that this stuff right here, uh, it is sticky. And it stays sticky and your stuff will stick. But it's a pain in the butt to get off. Plus, the bottom of your print is, um, uh, is sticky. I guess you can wash it off, but anyways, this is a big hassle because obviously you're not going to uh, put this on while it's in your printer. So every time you print, you got to pull your bed out, get a piece of cardboard, spray it, um, and then because uh, it leaves such a heavy film on it, um, it, it you just about got to clean the bed off every time. Um, so uh, once again, this this is not cheap either. I don't remember exactly how much this is, but um, it will go pretty quick too. So, I have found the best solution, and it works for me every time. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm, I didn't come up with it. Uh, I did eventually find it. And so, this is the solution I have come up with. Wood glue. Now, I'm assuming any kind of wood glue will work. Um, I did look for the heat resistant uh, so uh, hopefully that the heat doesn't dry it up uh, right away. But you don't use this. Um, I, I, you see how much I've used out of the bottle, hardly any. And I've done multiple prints. And this bottle right here, $4. A little bit less than $4. So uh, what I do is I get this. Got me a little disposable um, foam brush which is, um, it was like 79 cents at Lowe's, and a mason jar. Um, this stuff uh, has set uh, for 24 hours and it's not got hard. Um, and it's about one, uh, one part wood glue and about five uh, parts water. Um, some people were saying 10 parts water, but I think that's a little bit too much. Um, but still, um, somewhere around there, I don't, I had to, uh, actually I put 
uh, five parts water, one part uh, wood glue, and then I end up having to add a little bit of glue, so um, of wood glue to it to thicken it up a little bit. But um, this has worked flawlessly. So what I'll usually do in order to get this to be successful is, um, of course, I've already got the bed in there. Um, I did already clean it off, but I'd done multiple ones before. Um, before I cleaned it off, oh, excuse me. <coughs> um, uh, but just for this presentation, I wanted to make sure it was nice and cleaned off. Um, so basically, you just uh, put your foam brush in here. Go ahead and get it all nice and stirred up. Uh, if it, in just case it got some little clunks in it, but it doesn't have anything in there, all right? Stir it up a little bit, and then uh, you just need a really light coat here. Get it soaked up in your brush, and obviously you don't want to get the glue all over the place. So, and then, because uh, I'm going to be doing a large print, I want to make sure I get all of the area. Now, if you don't, if you're not doing a large print, then of course you don't have to do the the whole area. Just do where you're going to print at. All right. Usually I'll go one that way, and then I'll uh, dip it again here, and then do one the other way. Make sure I get it all because this is a big print. I like to not mess it up. All right. All right. Now, now, I, what I'll do next is I'll actually preheat the bed to the temperature that I'm going to be running. I'm going to go ahead and preheat the bed. And how you can preheat the bed is. Um, Let's move it down a little bit so you can see uh, the control panel, which I don't know if uh, you're going to be able to see it that much on camera, but I'll tell you where I'm going to go. So uh, basically, I'm at the, I'm at the main, uh, main screen, then I'll go to maintenance, advanced, and then I will go down to um, uh, heat up build plate. And I'm going to be doing some uh, PETG, which I had a tremendous problem um, with doing um, I usually go to about 85 on the bed on PET um, um, I was not able to get uh, PETG to uh, print uh, with cure but I had got uh, uh, simplified 3d um, and uh, took some settings from someone else and I seemed to get it to work so so we're gonna uh, preheat the bed and then I am going to uh, stop the video and then I will um, come back once it's preheated. All right, so we got our bed preheated. And then uh, the reason why I do that to go ahead and let the first one um, dry a little bit, the first layer, because I, uh, and then what I'll do is after I've preheated the bed, um, I, it may be overkill, but this is just the way I found that works. And it's worked 100% of the time. So now I will go, um, after I've preheated the thing, then I'll go to my print. And I'm going to be printing here. Alright, so um, bed's already preheated, now it's heating up the nozzle. And then what I like to do is put another thin, thin layer of there on there. This is even thinner than the first layer. And then, uh, of course, my water is cold here, uh, so it, it does get off a little bit of steam there. I like to get as much of it off there as possible during this process. I 
a nice smooth finish. Kind of just do this while the nozzle is heating up. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of prep work, but overall, I mean, the uh, I'll cut to the end here after my print, and I will show you how easy it comes off. Uh, but uh, just to kind of where there's no break in the video, uh, I am going to leave it going, and I'm going to show you how it's how good it sticks. No break in the video. All right, here we go. Another thing I like to do here is I like to uh, get any stuff off the end of the nozzle here, keep it nice and cleaned off because it does uh, pre-feed the uh, filament just a little bit. Print with a clear filament so you may not see it right off the bat. Uh, I'll move the camera up there to it. If you'll notice, I am printing very, very slow on this first layer. Um, I think I've got it set for um, 40 and starting off at 40% of that first layer. Let's get the camera here and kind of move up so you can actually see it. I don't know, I guess this is probably not the best filament to use to show it off, but you can see that little bit right there is sticking right there. Printing some letters there. Alright, so I will, uh, once it gets started, I will shoot a small little video of uh, the first few layers and then a finished product uh, and how easy it is to remove. Alright, here is uh, where it's the print is about, I don't know, about an hour in almost. It was a little hard because I decided to do this video when I used some clear, uh, what's actually called natural PETG or PETG. Um, uh, but um, there is, uh, it's sticking. Uh, it's not curling up anywhere or anything like that. Uh, trying to go to the side a little bit so you can kind of see it. Yep, looks pretty nice and onto the, the table there if we can't go around here to the other side I don't know how good I'm gonna be able to get it because I can't see it uh, but uh, hopefully you can see that pretty good come right here to the front side it's of course the glare there it is sticking very very well alrighty so I will come with a finished um, finished print and to show you how easy it is to remove right, so after about a seven hour print um, uh, with the uh, the wood glue water type solution the print is done um, so let's see how uh, if it's easy or not to remove it it looks like it did stay in place so everything's good there so um, I do have this skinny uh, spatula type thing uh, to uh, get off, but it's really, really thin. Uh, it may not be enough to get it, but we'll try the easy one first. A really skinny one, and then for tougher jobs, I have the one that came with it. 
Let's see how easy this comes off. Double check, make sure I'm recording. Because you only pop it off one time. Alright, here we go. So, look at that. Look how easy. See how easy that come off. Stuck, and it would come off very easy. There we go. So the part didn't turn out very good on the top. Uh, infill wasn't enough. Um, I can see, uh, so I will probably be uh, fixing that. But the bottom turned out pretty good. Just gonna have to thicken the infill up a little bit. So, all right. Well, there is what I use to stick to a glass build plate. Thank you. I just wanted to put in really quick, uh, I did end the video, but I wanted to put a reminder in there. Um, I do let the build plate cool down before I try to um, uh, pull it off, so that may make it easier too.